Hey, quite the champ here for Golfers RX. Today's video, you guessed it, we're still inside. But there's a silver lining to this because today we're gonna work on our chipping. And I know that my chipping definitely needs some work. And I can do it in the comfort of my own home without injuring anyone at the putting green. Bonus. Doctor? 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 You know what really grinds the gears of your opponent? A wicked smart short game. You miss the green, they think they have you on the ropes, you get up and down, you do this enough times, and they'll start to go mad. So here are three indoor drills that you can do to work on your chipping. The first one is going to help us make sure we make contact with the ball before the turf. On a piece of carpet, not on hardwood or tile, we're going to lay down a dish towel or a face cloth. Then we're going to make swings, small ones will work, where we don't touch the towel. We want to make contact with the carpet first. If you hit or move the towel, you know that you probably got some turf between the club and the ball. The second drill is going to make sure our hands lead the club head through impact. You're going to need a pillow. Not the fancy ones though, just an old one will do. You're going to set up to the pillow and make small swings and what you're looking to do is ensure that your hands lead the club face at impact with the pillow. You don't want to flip the club, but rather a solid lead wrist at impact. For this third one, I came across a great chipping drill that I've never seen before. Take an alignment stick or broomstick. We're in the house after all, let's get creative. Stick it under your lead armpit and move it around so it mirrors the line and angle of your club. Now make some small practice swings and keep them aligned. That means not pulling the club to the inside, lifting it straight up or breaking your wrists. And just make some small swings so they mirror each other back and through. This drill is great. I've fallen in love with it because it's one that you can do in the house, but you can also take it to the golf course. If you practice these chipping drills right here and you practice them in your spare time, you practice them over the winter, your short game is going to dominate. You are going to break your competitor's will to challenge you. That's kind of fun.